Hello, Tom English again, and uh, today we're going to talk about uh, regular polygons and how to calculate the uh, internal and external angles and also the area of regular polygons. Uh, regular polygons we mean are obviously the same uh, equal sides and equal angles. And if we think about uh, a triangle, of course, we've got uh, how many degrees in a triangle? 180. If we look at a quadrilateral, if we uh, draw a diagonal, we break that into two triangles. And so the sum of the internal angles in that case would be 2 times 180, or 360. Uh, the hexagon, if we draw diagonals from one of the corner points uh, to each of the other corner points, you notice we're able to draw one, two, three, four triangles. So that would have 180 times 4, which would be 720 degrees in that. And from that, what we basically learn is that we're going to have as many triangles as the sides minus 2. In other words, in this case we had 4 sided figure, 4 minus 2, we had 2 triangles. 2 times 180 is 360. In the hexagon, we had 6 sides, 6 minus 2, we ended up with 4 triangles. Well, in the case of a 12 again, if uh, we counted these up here, we'd have 12 sides minus 2, so we have 10 triangles. And so what are we going to have as the number of degrees in the internal? Well, it would be 10 times 180, or 1,800 degrees. Okay? Well, it's one thing to know the total. What would be the uh, angle, the internal angle, for each of these if they're regular? We have how many uh, sides? We have 12 sides. So if we divide 12 into 1,800, we're going to 12, 1, 6, 0. Oh. So we're going to have each internal angle on a 12 again would be uh, 500 or 150 degrees. Now, in the case of the hexagon, we have 720 degrees, and we have how many uh, sides? Six. So in the case of the hexagon, six goes into 720 as 120. Okay? So, it's easy to calculate. We just have to remember how many triangles. Oh, it's two less than. and. I know most teachers are going to give you a formula, you've got too many formulas already, and I'd rather you think through the process and calculate it rather than trying to remember which formula is for this and which is for that. Um, if the internal, in this case we got a hexagon with, uh, well in this case it's 120 degrees as each internal angle, then what would be the external angle? We know the external angles are just the extension and the internal and external are supplementary. So in this case we know that the supplementary angle would be 60 degrees. What would be the external angle for a 12 again? Well it would be the 180 minus the 150 so each of those would be 30 degrees external. Now, one of the things you want to remember about the external, no matter how many sides there are, the total all the way around is 360 degrees, just as it is for a circle. So another way of calculating that would be to say, if the total of the external angles is 360 degrees, if we had a 15-sided figure, regular pentagon, then we'd divide this by... 15 to get the external angle. Once we knew the external, we could easily turn it into uh, internal. 
Why don't we make it instead of 15, let's say we've got 18. I like nice even round numbers. If we divide 18 into 36, we get 2. So in this case, we're saying for an 18 sided regular polygon, the external angle would be 20 degrees. Just divide the number of sides into 360. Well, if the external angle is 20, what would be the internal angle? Don't need a formula. Simply, oh, it's a supplement. 180 minus 20. So the internal angle would be 160 degrees. Okay, the other thing we want to uh, be able to do with uh, regular polygons is calculate the area. Let me erase most of this. <clears throat> and let's take a regular hexagon and you'll find why I like to use hexagons. And this is something to remember uh, on most tests. Uh, they're going to use those triangles that are nice and easy uh, so that you remember those sides. But let's, let's start with this. First of all, if you think of the area, it can be made up of triangles, but not the triangles we were using to calculate the internal angles, uh, what, what I call the area triangles. If we take the center point of any regular polygon, uh, that center point, and we drop from that center point a perpendicular to one of the sides, then we've got the altitude, we can multiply it times the base, cut it in half, triangle's half right, half, one half BH, then we, we have the area of one of the triangles, multiply it by the number of sides, we have the total area. Again, we don't need a formula. Uh, in this case, if we have a hexagon, in order to find the length of this, and by the way, this is called an apothem, A-P-O-T-H-E-M. The apothem is the distance from the center to one of the sides. When you measure the distance, it's always the shortest distance, which means it's a uh, perpendicular line, isn't it? So, the altitude of this triangle is called the apothem, and if we have, let's say these are four inch sides, how are we going to find that, that uh, apothem? How are we going to find the altitude of that triangle? Well, this is again where I say they, most tests, they tend to use easy triangles. Let's go again with the Hexagon, let's see what can help us. Well, if we knew one of the angles in here, that would help us, wouldn't it? What's the internal angle for a hexagon? Well, again, let's see. It's the number of sides minus 2, so that's 4, times uh, 180. So there's four triangles, so that's 0, 32, that's 720. If it's 720 is the total of the internal angles, we divide that by the number of sides, 6. That says each internal angle then is 120 degrees. So this angle is 120, this angle is 120, 120, 120. Well, if this is 120, what do you think half of it is? This is where I say you want to use those special angle. So this says this is a 60 degree angle right triangle. Do you remember our 30, 60 degree right triangle? What did we say in our trig lesson about the value of the sides? The side opposite the 30 degree angle, if we said that was S, we also said the hypotenuse then is twice that big, isn't it? And if that side is twice as big, what is the side opposite the 60 degree angle? Well, that was S times the square root of 3. 
But what's this? Well, in this case, we're saying the side is 4, and this is only half of that, isn't it? We extend this out. This is that little triangle in there. And then this is 4, then S is 2. If S is 2, what's the height or the apothem in this case? Well, it would be 2 times the square root of 3. Okay, if that's the height, what's the base? The base times the height, the height or the base is 4, so we have that times 4. And what are we going to do for the triangle? We're going to cut it by 2. So what's the area of that triangle then? 4 times the square root of 3. That's the area of just one of the triangles. How many triangles do we have? <clears throat> We have as many sides as there are. This is a hexagon, so we have six sides. So the area of the uh, hexagon would be 6 times 4 is 24. The answer would be 24 times the square root of 3. Now some, some of you will see uh, formulas in there where instead of calculating it out this way, there's a formula. Actually, you think about it, you've got six sides. Well, that's really the perimeter, isn't it? The perimeter is equal to 6 times the side. Well, that's what we ended up here. Uh, so you have six triangles. But I don't want to get into another formula. You've got too many formulas as it is. Just solve for the area of the triangle. You've got how many sides? Multiply it by that number. Okay? And always look for the 30, 60 degree triangle, I guarantee you, 90% of your tests that are dealing with this are going to be on hexagons because it works out. Another uh, triangle we uh, talked about before was what? The 45 degree, uh, 45, 45, half the square. Remember that? So if this side is S, this side is S, then this hypotenuse is s times the square root of 2. Always look for those. Uh, what's the other ones you ought to be looking for? 3, 4, 5, or some combination of that. So watch for those. Uh, makes it a heck of a lot easier. Hopefully uh, you understand that the regular size, regular polygons means the sides are the same, the angles are the same. Uh, calculate the internal angle. You've got the external angle because they're supplementary. In the case of the area, you need that apothem, which is the altitude of the triangle. Okay, next lesson we're going to kind of get into uh, figures, but we're going to use volumes, volumes of uh, solids, uh, cones, spheres, and so forth. Thank you.